everyone! Welcome back to our math room. Let's learn together another lesson in general mathematics. In this video, we are going to have solving logarithmic equations. Now, let us have the learning objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve logarithmic equations. So what is a logarithmic equation? It is an equation involving a variable in the logarithmic expression. Let's say we have the logarithm of 3x minus 2 with base 4 is equal to 2 and logarithm of x plus 1 with base 3 is equal to the logarithm of 2 times x minus 1 with base 3. Both of these are examples of logarithmic equations. And when we are dealing with a logarithmic equation, we are solving for the value of the variable. In solving logarithmic equations, it is important to recall the restrictions on the values of a and x in the logarithmic expression logarithm of x with base a. Take note that a can be a positive real number except 1, meaning a is greater than 0 but not equal to 1. x can be a positive real number and the value of the logarithm of x with base a can be any real number, meaning it can be zero, negative, or positive number. How do we solve a logarithmic equation? These are the strategies that we can use. First, rewrite the exponential form. Second, use logarithmic properties and laws of logarithm. And third, apply the one-to-one -one property of logarithm. Before we solve a logarithmic equation, let us have the following reminders. Always check the obtained values by plugging in to the original logarithmic equation. We cannot take the logarithm of 0 or a negative number. And it is possible to have one or more solutions or even no solution. Let's go back to the basic properties of logarithms. In logarithm of x with base a, let a and x be positive real numbers such that a is greater than 0 and a not equal to 1. Here are the following basic properties. Next, let us have the loss of logarithms. Let a be greater than 0 and a not equal to 1. For x greater than 0, y greater than 0, and r is any real number, then we have the following loss of logarithms. Law of a product, law of a quotient, and law of a power. These basic properties and loss of logarithms are needed in solving logarithmic equations. Another important property is the one-to-one -one property of logarithm. If logarithm of x with base a is equal to the logarithm of y with base a, then x is equal to y. This property states that if an equation contains only two logarithms on opposite sides of the equal sign having the same base, then the problem can be solved by simply chopping the logarithms. Let us now have some examples. Number 1. Find the value of x in the given logarithmic equation logarithm of 5x with base 4 is equal to logarithm of x plus 24 with base 4. To solve this problem, observe that both sides of our equation have a logarithm having the same base of 4, so we can apply first the one-to-one -one property of logarithm. So we will just simply drop the logarithm with base 4, so we only have 5x is equal to x plus 24. Combine like terms, so we put the x on the left side, so we have 5x minus x is equal to 24. Solve for the value of x, so we have 4x is equal to 24. Divide both sides by 4, so x is equal to 6. Next step is to do the checking. So we need to plug in the value of 6 to our equation. So we have the logarithm of 5 times 6 with base of 4 equals the logarithm of 6 plus 24 with base 4. Next, we have the logarithm of 30 with base 4 is equal to the logarithm of 30 with base 4. Since we have shown that the left is equal to the right, then 6 is the answer to this given equation. Second example, find the value of x in the logarithmic equation logarithm of 2x minus 1 with base 3 is equal to 2. Observe that in this logarithmic equation, the other side has no logarithmic expression. 
So in order to solve for this, we need to change this to exponential form. So we can now have 2x minus 1 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 2. So this is the exponential form. After this, square the 3, so we have 9, equals 2x minus 1. Simplify by combining like terms, so we have 2x is equal to 9 plus 1. We have 2x is equal to 10. Divide both sides by 2, so x is equal to 5. To check if this is a real solution, let us do the checking by inputting this value to our equation. So we have the logarithm of 2 times 5 minus 1 with base of 3 is equal to 2. Next is logarithm of 10 minus 1 gives us 9 with base 3 is equal to 2. To check if this is the real value of this logarithmic expression, let us rewrite the 9 having a base of 3. So we have logarithm of 3 squared with base 3 is equal to 2. Using the basic property of logarithm, if the x value is equal to a value, then the answer is the exponent itself. So we have a true statement. So x equals 5 is a real solution of this logarithmic equation. Third example, find the value of x in the logarithmic equation logarithm of x plus logarithm of x plus 3 is equal to 1. Looking at this given equation, we have two logs on one side, and in order to simplify, we need to use a law of a product to condense these logs. So if we're going to apply it, we can now have the logarithm of x times x plus 3 is equal to 1. Next thing to do is to remove the log by changing this equation to exponential form. So we now have x times x plus 3 is equal to 10 raised to the power of 1. Since there is no base indicated, automatic that base is equal to 10. Next is to simplify by multiplying this. So we have x squared plus 3x is equal to 10. Since we have x squared, it means to say that we need to have a standard form for this quadratic equation. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. Let's do factoring. So we have x plus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. To solve for the values of x, we have to equate each to 0. So we have x plus 5 is equal to 0. So we have x is equal to negative 5. x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to positive 2. Here in this problem, we have two possible values of x. The question here is, are these real solutions? Let's begin with negative 5. So plugging in negative 5 to our equation, we have the logarithm of negative 5 plus the logarithm of negative 5 plus 3 is equal to 1. Looking at this now, we have the logarithm of a negative number. And based on the property of logarithm, we don't take the logarithm of a negative number. Therefore, negative 5 is not a real solution. x is not equal to negative 5. Not a real solution. How about for positive 2? So we have logarithm of 2 plus the logarithm of 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. Next, we have the logarithm of 2 plus the logarithm of 5 is equal to 1. Next is to apply the law of a product. We have the logarithm of 2 times 5 is equal to 1. The logarithm of 10 is equal to 1. Since automatic the base here is 10, 10 as the value of a, 10 as the value of x, if they are the same, automatic the answer is the exponent, and the exponent here is 1, therefore this is true. So the only solution for this problem is x is equal to 2. Fourth example, find the value of x in the logarithmic equation logarithm of 5x plus 7 with base 4 is equal to 2 plus logarithm of x minus 3 with base 4. To solve for this logarithmic equation, we need to move the logarithmic expression to the left side 
and keep the constant to the right. So here, this becomes the logarithm of 5 x plus 7 with base 4 minus the logarithm of x minus 3 with base 4 is equal to 2. The next thing to do is to use the law of a quotient to condense this logarithm. So we have the logarithm of 5x plus 7 over x minus 3 with base 4 equals 2. Next is to change this to exponential form. So we have 5x plus 7 over x minus 3 is equal to 4 raised to the power of 2. Next is to simplify 4 squared, then afterwards, multiply both sides by x minus 3 to remove the denominator. So this becomes 5x plus 7 equals 4 squared is 16 times x minus 3. Next, to distribute 16 to x minus 3, so we have 5x plus 7 equals 16x minus 48. Combine like terms, we have 5x minus 16x equals negative 48 minus 7. This becomes negative 11x equals negative 55. Divide both sides by negative 11. So the answer is x equals 5. Let us now do the checking. Logarithm of 5 times 5 plus 7 with base 4 equals 2 plus logarithm of 5 minus 3 with base 4. Simplify this, we have the logarithm of 25 plus 7 is 32 with base 4 equals 2 plus the logarithm of 2 with base 4. Next is Remove the logarithm of 2 with base 4 and put it on the left side. We have the logarithm now of 32 with base 4 minus logarithm of 2 with base 4 is equal to 2. Apply quotient law. We have logarithm of 32 over 2 with base 4 is equal to 2. Logarithm of 16 with base 4 is equal to 2. Change 16 having a base of 4, we have logarithm of 4 squared with base 4 is equal to 2. Since these two are the same, the answer is whatever is the exponent. So, x equals 5 is a real solution. Last example, find the value of x in the given logarithmic equation ln of x plus 4 plus ln of x minus 2 is equal to ln of 4x. Here, as you can see on the left side, we need to condense these logarithms by using the law of a product. So we have ln of x plus 4 times x minus 2 equals ln of 4x. Looking at this equation now, both sides have ln and then using the one-to-one -one property, we can just simply drop them off and copy x plus 4 times x minus 2 equals 4x. Multiply these two binomials. We have x squared plus 4x minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 4x. Simplify the left side. We have x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 4x. Looking at our equation, we have quadratic, therefore, we need to have a standard form having x squared plus 2x minus 4x minus 8 is equal to 0. Next is to combine these two, we have x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Factors, we have x minus 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Equate h to 0, we have x minus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to positive 4. x plus 2 is equal to 0, so x is equal to negative 2. Let us now do the checking. Are these two real solutions of our equation? Let's begin with positive 4. So we have ln of 4 plus 4 
plus ln of 4 minus 2 equals ln of 4 times 4. So we have ln of 8 plus ln of 2 equals ln of 16. Applying the product law, we have ln of 8 times 2 equals ln of 16. So ln of 16 is equal to ln of 16. So with this, we can now say that x equals 4 is a real solution. Now, how about negative 2? By observation, if we're going to input negative 2 on the right side, 4 times negative 2 gives us negative 8, and we don't take the ln of a negative number. Therefore, the only solution here is x equals 4. After discussing how to solve a logarithmic equation and providing you different examples, Check your own understanding now. Try to answer the following items. Find the value of x in each logarithmic equation. You may pause the video to answer these items. Let's check our work. First, x is equal to 12. Second, x equals 16. And the third, x equals 1 third. Did you get all of this? If yes, great job. Here are the key takeaways in this lesson. First. When we say logarithmic equation, it is an equation involving a variable in the logarithmic expression. And to solve a logarithmic equation, you may do the following. Rewrite to exponential form, use logarithmic properties and laws of logarithm, and apply the one-to-one -one property of logarithm that states that if logarithm of x with base a is equal to the logarithm of y with base a, drop off the logarithmic symbols and have x equals y. This is the end of our discussion. I hope you have learned something in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Bye everyone! See you on our next video.